Hi everyone, it's Mrs Cordy here. How are you all? I hope you've had a lovely summer holiday. Um, what have you been up to? I can't wait to find out next week. Have any of you done your All About Me flowers or your butterflies? If you have, we'd love it if you do bring them in next week because we're going to have a look at them all and put them up all around our classrooms to make our classrooms look lovely and colourful. So do, do remember to bring those in. I've got a bit of a mixture of emotions about next week and I'm sure you have too. But the biggest thing I am feeling right now is excitement because I am so excited to meet all of you. We haven't met yet, so I'm really, really excited to do that. And I can't wait to hear all your stories and about everything that you like to do, things you maybe don't like to do and things that we can start to plan in our reception classrooms. Now, one of the things we do, and this is one of my favourite topics, is we read lots of Julia Donaldson books and we do story maps and we do artwork and we do lots of creative things, lots of role play all around different Julia Donaldson books. Now, my favourite is Room on the Broom. Do you have a favourite? Maybe you have a different favourite author. I can't wait to find out next week who they might be. So do keep it in mind and we'll uh, have a little chat about that next week. Now, today I saw Mrs Doyle and she was telling me that Julia Donaldson has read written a new book. And it's called The Teeny Weeny Genie. And she's actually written it with another author called Anna Curry. So they've written it together. Teamwork. So I thought, well, why don't we read that now? I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you'll like it better than The Gruffalo. Maybe not as well as you like Room on the Broom. We'll see. Old MacDonald had a farm. And on that farm, he had a farmhouse. And in that farmhouse, he had a cupboard. And in that cupboard, he had a teapot. And in that teapot lived a teeny weeny blue genie. Don't know if you can see that there. The genie liked it in the teapot. And old MacDonald didn't like tea. So life was nice and peaceful. That is, until the day when old MacDonald decided to clean out his cupboard. I'll give this dusty old teapot a wash, he said. And when he started to rub it dry, the genie wafted out of the spout. What is your wish? asked the genie. Could you manage a new tractor? asked the farmer. My old one's awfully rusty. The genie puffed himself up and said, A, B, C and X, Y, Z, gobbledygook and garlic bread. Sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? He rubbed his tummy and patted his head and a bright red tractor appeared. Thank you. Let's go for a ride around the farms at Old MacDonald. So they did. It was a very loud tractor. Chugga chugga. Vroom, vroom. The farm was very noisy too. Quack, quack. Ba, ba. Mur, mur. This farm is a lot of work, said the farmer. I wish I had a wife to help me. The genie puffed himself up and said, A, B, C and X, Y, Z, cauliflower cheese and chocolate spread. He rubbed his tummy and patted his head and a woman appeared. She was carrying a large suitcase. Hello, husband, she said. I'm Mrs. MacDonald. After a quick cuddle and a tractor ride, old MacDonald asked, what's in that suitcase? All my clothes, said Mrs. MacDonald. I wish I had some wood and a saw and a drill and a hammer and nails. Then I could build a wardrobe to keep them in. The genie puffed himself up and said, A, B, C and X, Y, Z, gooseberry green and raspberry red. He rubbed his tummy and patted his head and the wooden tools appeared. Mrs. MacDonald set to work. The saw and the drill and the hammer were very loud bang bang the genie blocked his ears again genie doesn't like noise does he there's some wood left over said mrs macdonald and she made a cradle then they wished for a baby to put in it the baby was very loud too mrs macdonald wished for a rattle but that just made the baby cry even louder I think he's wishing for a dog, said the genie. No sooner had the dog appeared than he wished for a bone. The bone was nice and quiet. 
But then the dog wished for a cat to chase. Ruff, ruff. Meow, meow. The cat ran away from the dog and climbed up a tree. She's stuck, said old MacDonald, and he wished for some firefighters, firefighters to come and rescue her. They appeared in a very loud fire engine. Nino, 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 Nino. One of the flat firemen climbed up a ladder to rescue the cat, while the others stood around wishing for things. They wished for a trumpet, an electric guitar and a drum kit. Let's have a band practice, they said. It was a very loud band practice. Toot toot, drum de drum, thump thump. The genie was getting a terrible headache. As soon as the cat was down from the tree, she wished for some mice. The mice wished for a ball and a very loud whistle. Beep, beep. They all started to play football until the mouse who was the ref got fed up with that and wished to be Super Mouse instead. Then the cat wished to be Super Cat, the dog wished to be Super Dog, the McDonald's wished to be Super Farmers, the firefighters wished to be Super Firefighters, the baby wished to be Super Baby, and they all flew around bumping into each other. Whizz, whizz, bang, crash. I can't stand this a minute longer, said the genie. I wish they'd all go away. But nothing happened. And then the genie remembered. I'm not allowed to make wishes for myself, only for other people. Hoping that no one was looking, he slunk back into the farmhouse. Perhaps they'll leave me in peace if I get back into my dear old teapot, he said. He stroked the teapot fondly and then got the surprise of his life. When out of the spout wafted another genie, this one was green. What were you doing in my teapot? asked the blue genie. Trying to get some peace and quiet, said the green genie. That's what I want, said the blue genie. But I know I can't make my own wish come true. But I can, said the green genie. I can wish for you and you can wish for me. Then he puffed himself up and said, A, B, C and X, Y, Z, broccoli broth and breakfast in bed. He rubbed his tummy and patted his head and the teapot grew a pair of wings. Jump in, let's go, said the green genie. The teapot carried the two genies out of the farmhouse, away from the farm, over the hills and through the clouds. Then it came gently down to rest on a beautiful beach. The only sound was the lapping of the waves on the shore. The two genies had a little paddle. Then the green genie wished for another teapot and some teacups and the blue genie made that wish come true. After their cup of tea, the two genies climbed into the first teapot and fell asleep. Please don't disturb them if you ever find that, that teapot on the beach. Or if you really feel you have to, just make one wish. Think very hard. What will that wish be? I wonder what you would wish for. Can't wait to see you next week, boys and girls. See you soon. Bye.